Okay, here we go again. <laughs> um, just text me on my cell phone if you, if you need to communicate with me. Um, so anyway, um, on everybody's profile page, we would like your profile information section to be at the very top. And you can move things around. When you hover over the title of the section here, your cursor will be a four arrows. And you just left click, and then you can move it. So now it's right on top. And by default, the latest activity is at the very top of the page. And we want that to be at the very bottom. And the reason is because the latest activity can be really, really long. And we don't want people to scroll all the way down to see your profile information. So we want that your profile information to be a, right next to your profile picture, right here. And again, you just hover over the section title, you left click, and you drag and drop where you want it to be. Um, another and same same thing for some of these other things. Um, I put uh, my friends on the left side. I put the chapters on the left side. My discussions on the left side, and you can take any of these and move it to the middle if you want. So now this, the discussions are in the middle. Or if you don't want it, you, there you can put it on the left hand side. So you can move all of these different sections around. And one cool feature um, that we have is this blog. And um, when you write a blog, um, your blog will go here, not only here, but on the front page as well. And if you have an RSS feed from another blog, let me see, right here. So I have a blogger blog, if that makes sense. And I can edit, I can put the RSS feed right here, the alt equals RSS from blogspot.com onto here. So anytime I create a blog on my blogger, um, it will go, come automatically right here. It will feed it into my profile page so I don't have to automatically add it. And that is a really cool feature. And uh, if you need help, just email me um, and I'd be glad to help you with that. Um, one thing to note on the blogs, um, let's go to the home page for just a minute. At the very top here, we have a section here called blog posts. And you'll see that this is a thumbnail portion of your blog. So you need to make sure that the first few sentences or even the picture here is going to capture somebody's attention so that they can click on your blog to read more about it. And we also want to make sure and emphasize that we do not want you to publicize events or sales through your blog as the main uh, blog portion uh, content. Uh, we want you to go ahead and um, just talk about whatever you need to talk about, and as a blog, you know, make it make it valuable to somebody who's reading it. And then at the very end, if you wanted to put a little something, you know, to say, hey, by the way, I'm having a special or something, that's okay, but not as the main. Mm -hmm. So we want to get away from that. Um, Okay, let me go back to uh, my page for just a minute. And you'll notice that um, we have a photo section. This is where you can advertise some of your products or your events. Um, go ahead and add pictures to here and make sure that you always put a caption underneath it because search engine optimization looks at the description or the title of your picture. Just because your picture is named, I don't know, these foaming, foaming hand soap, um, it doesn't care about that. So if you want the search engine optimization to pick it up, go ahead and uh, put a description on, or a title underneath that picture. Um, the other cool feature is that you can add a text box. Now on mine, I've already done it, but on yours, you may not have. And so this is a new text box, and I went in on yours, it might say just text box. And um, you just click on edit, and you go ahead and put in the title of what you want and the description. And any, you can add pictures, and if some of you are good for HTML, H, sorry, HTML, you can go ahead and edit, edit this section of it, or you can just 
do it this way. And I like to do that. Um, I know a few of us, like Pepper and Ashley, have already done this new text box here, and I like to put mine right above my profile information. Um, it's just uh -huh. something extra to do um, for, to, um, for your profile page. Um, also, we want to make sure that everybody tries to comment on everybody's uh, profile page. And all you got to do is just yeah. look somebody up um, in the search and start writing comments. So if I want to write a comment on Misty's profile, I'll just find her profile page. See, and Misty already did her um, new text box right here. Um, and then her profile information. And she's got a blog and a latest activity. And I'm going to comment. This is where you comment. And the nice thing about this section here is that, one, you're going to get more publicity from everybody. Um, two, you're going to be one of the top members of the WPN Ning website. And three, when you do a search on the WPN uh, website, whatever you write in your comment wall, even if it's on other people's uh, profile pages, it's, the search is going to pick it up. So instead of just saying, hey, you know, thanks for lunch today. You know, it was great seeing you. Instead of saying that, thanks for lunch today and talking about uh, Wills with me. Although this probably is supposed to be capitalized there, but, um, you know, something like that. So that way, if somebody wants to do a search on the website and they're looking for Wills, guess what? My comment is going to come up. And the other thing that you guys should know about this little search up here is that it's on whole words only. It's not on partial word. So if I search on the word oil, look at what comes up. If I search on the word oils, look what comes up. It's different. It's totally different. So what I did was my profile page, I, I did a sneaky little way, <laughs> and so I wrote some um, keywords here, oil and organic and grade A, because I, I didn't go ahead and um, actually put that in my little description here, you know, using the word just oil without the word oils, you know, just without the S, so I, I did it this way. <laughs> so anyway, that's what will come up. Um, also, um, and then when anybody is a guest speaker for your chapter, please make sure you write a comment on their profile page to thank them for a great speech. And give them credit. Give them validity. Give them kudos. Give them something. And this is the same for the meetup pages as well. Go ahead and rate, always rate your, e your meetup uh, events. Um, give everybody five stars if that's the way you feel and write a little comment. Thanks, this was such a great talk um, about Wills. And then go to Misty's profile page on the Meetup page as well and uh, write a little comment there. So people from outside of WPN can actually see all the comments that are being left uh, for Misty or anybody else. Um, the other thing uh, that I'd like to talk about real quick is the members only area. Um, we have a documents area and this is where you can find mm -hmm. lots of great information um, about the Coffee and Contacts uh, meetups. Um, let's see what else is great. Oh yeah, the speakers. This is important. The Coffee and Contacts speakers and their topics. If you click on this link, oh wait, 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 I don't want to do that. Uh, okay. Anyway, um, if you click on that link, um, it will give you a spreadsheet of everybody's um, name, phone number, email address, and their topic. So if you're looking for a great speaker, um, please check, um, click on this um, link here. And if you want to get on there or change any information, please email the administrator for WPN, and she will add you to that list and get this spreadsheet updated. And if you are looking for speakers as well, um, you can also go to the chapters page and type in speakers. And we have WPN speaker coordinators. So here 
you can go ahead and email any one of these ladies or put a comment on here and say, hey, I'm looking for speakers, and they'll get your um, request. So that's the second way to um, get speakers. Um, and let's go back to the members only area under forum. This is something that we would like to have um, everybody uh, participate in. Um, there's lots of different categories mm -hmm. and we would like for you guys to go ahead and use this to ask questions, add tips and tricks and things like that of what you learned um, about social media, I mean anything really. So, and then we've kind of broken it out so far. Nobody's uh, kind of responded to anything. So go ahead and, and add stuff here. If you have a question on how to do something, we'd really like for you to participate in that. Um, now, um, going back to um, my page real quick, and I'm going to click on my chapter. Now, real quick. Um, the send message to chapter. What this will do, as long as you are a member of this particular chapter, you can send an email blast to all of the ladies that are members of this chapter. But what you can't do is do a reply all back. It's not a full email system. It's like a, a forward only. So um, so it's so that's something that the Ning uh, network is going to be working on in the future. But just know that um, it's you cannot reply all to one of these send message to chapters and expect um, it to go to all of the people. <clears throat> um, let's see. Oh, okay, now I want to talk about events, and that's under happenings and events, and. You are welcome as a WPN member to go ahead and add events um, to your individual business. Um, they are moderated, so you do need an approval once you submit your event, but most likely it'll it'll all be um, accepted. So when you add an event, you can add an event type. And you see right here, talk, networking, roundtable, show, online. Well, not really quite sure what online means or what a show means or what a talk. And sometimes we get the word and here, and we don't really mean to do that. Um, so you can see all of the different things here. So if you want to do something on, you know, find something on weight or something, find something on market, you could do that. And the way that you do that is you click add. And when you create an event, this is what I'm talking about, the event type. So when we say it's going to be cocktails and contacts, if I say cocktails and contacts, the event type is actually going to be cocktails and contacts, three separate event types. But if you put it in double quotes, it's going to be cocktails and contacts once. So that's what we want. So if you have a multiple word event type, go ahead and put that in double quotes. And if you have something else, comma, space, and then put, uh, I don't know, coffee and oops, contacts. Things like that. So that's what you can do uh, for the events. Um, I, oh, and let's see. Yeah, I think that's all that I really wanted to cover real quick, and I know there are um, probably lots of questions. Um, I'm just going to open this up to a QA. and a I'm going to stop my screen share, um, and I see one more thing real quick, the classifieds. Um, you, this is where you can actually advertise a special or items for sale or you have a business service or you want something. Mm -hmm. So it's under um, classifieds. So I'm going to go ahead and stop my screen share, and I'm going to open it up for questions. Okay. Heidi, I have a question. Are you ready? Yes, ready. Okay, here, this is from Missouri. Is the text box by default on your page, or is this something 
we could we have to add? No, it's already on your page. Um, it'll just say text box. So then you just click on the little edit link next to it, and then you can change the title from text box to your uh, business name or something. Okay, and here's another one. Here's one from uh, Spring Lake. Can the pictures be seen outside of our members when pe when we upload our pictures? And if if not, how is it increasing your S and if how is it increasing your SEO? Yes. Um. So pictures always say a thousand words, and so when you are um on when you upload your your photos to your profile page, if somebody outside of WPN is looking at your profile page, they're going to see all those pictures. And you, like I said, you always want to write a description about that picture, so that way the SEO can pick it up. And not only that, on the home page of womenspowernetworking.com, you will also see a photo section. And that will be random, generalized um, photos of everybody's photos. So that's another way that people outside of WPN can also see your photos. Heidi, I have a question. Um, for the photos, you said put uh, a tag underneath. So would you recommend, for example, that I do just one and each photo says like PCAR Law Firm? Or is it beneficial to do different types of tags? I would say different types of tags. You can still do the law firm, but don't forget that um, your law firm um, tag is actually going to be on your profile page because you already have that information on your profile page. So if you want to say, you know, uh, this, in a, this is a photo of uh, a will, a sample will, or this is a link to a template of a will, um, please contact me at, you know, PCAR Law Firm. You know, something like that you could do. And, and one thing I know that we learned once before from Ashley, I'm sure she might be mentioning this, is to make sure that you put in the comments your search words. Yes. Right, to make sure that yeah. come up. the next question, one of the questions was, what about the blogs? That's seen by everybody publicly, right? Yes, it sure is, definitely. And the more you write, the more the SEO will pick you up. And um, so Women's Power Networking does have a blog feature where you can create your own blogs on WPN. And every and on the home page, you'll see that little blog section with all the little thumbnails. I think we chose to view like the, the 20 most recent ones. So every time you write a blog, it will go up on the home page until, until you get kind of kicked off that, that top 20, you know, the last 20 uh, list there. We have, a, we have another question here coming. Heidi, if you already have written a blog but you update it, would that show up as a new blog or how would that work? Um, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if it will come back up on the home page if you edit an existing one. I haven't tried that yet. Hey, <laughs> Heidi, I have one last comment. So I had actually took and gone to just Google my name. And I noticed that Neem was the second page. So apparently it has great search engine optimization. So just putting it out there, Meetup and Misty Picar used to be all over the place. Now it's Neem and Misty Picar. So again, I might want to rethink which site I'm using based again upon SEO. Again, not a question, I know, just a comment. Yeah, no, that's a great comment, actually. And it's good to know that the SEO is working for us on the Ning Network. So yay. And then I just also want to mention, um, Ashley, when you get started, you might want to mention about you're doing the newsletter because when you write a blog and things, Ashley's, you know, kind of combing around and she's going to pick up a blog to focus in on the newsletter or maybe we'll, we'll start, maybe we'll start a photo contest and we'll post these in the newsletter because the newsletter that um, we do and that um, Ashley has picked up to help us do goes out to at least maybe 25 to 3,000 people. So every time you have an event, if you send us your visitors and your attendee list from wherever you are, we're going to put this into our constant contact. So that newsletter is going to go to everybody that's ever been to an event. So they're going to see your blog, they're going to see your picture, they're going to see something juicy about WPN, and that's what we want. And the same thing with the Google group. Um, I don't know if um, 
Meg is still on. But the Google group, we're not taking off people who have no, are no longer members. We're keeping them on. And unless they ask request to be taken off. So you can use that to market your products, services, ask things. Just remember that there will be people in that Google group that are no longer members. So if you put out there, um, Missouri chapter, Fenton chapter is looking for a speaker, just remember there are going to be people on that list that are not members any longer. So when you get a response, you want to say, are you a member? To speak at your chapter. So just keep these in mind. But anyway, I just want to mention that. <laughs> Okay, and I'm looking at some of the comments that we have here for this event. Um, where is the contact info box? Um, not quite sure uh, which contact info box are you talking about. Are you talking about maybe um, the profile information on the profile page? Can you just, uh, Pam, can you just go ahead and uh, ex explain that just a little bit? Um, and then also another comment on here, it says, if you clear your cookies and cash before you search, that will also affect what comes up in your search engine. And that is true, too. So a couple of different ways that you could do that, you can hit Control F5 to clear a cache. You can also go into your Internet Browser Options window and go ahead and delete um, your cookies um, that way. Um, can you edit a comment on someone's page after posting? I don't know. I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, I'm not sure. I'd have to play around with that. Um, let's see. Yep. And then if you and then one comment here says um, if you edit a blog post, it does not come up as a new post on the front page. Probably that that sounds right. Um, okay. Let's see what else. Yes, and then Meetup should send you an automatic email after the Meetup to say, please rate this meeting. Um, if by chance they don't, it could be your email settings or maybe you didn't re respond RSVP yes. Um, you can always go to that past event and click on it and go ahead and rate it that way. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. any other questions? Um, yeah, go ahead, um, Misty, if you have more questions. Yeah. And I just want to make another comment just so everybody that's on knows. We want to welcome our first chapter in Delaware. Thanks to all the PA members that have done such a wonderful job in making Pennsylvania so lovely. Now we have a new chapter starting in Delaware, and I think another one starting in PA. And... One of our um, members from our Apex North Carolina chapter, Lisa Hicks, has moved to Detroit, and she's going to start opening up chapters in that area. So if you're listening, Lisa, and um, mm -hmm. I can't remember what your name is in Pencil, in Delaware. Judy, I think, Cone, if I'm not mistaken. If I have made a mistake, I apologize. But we welcome you to our, uh, our sisterhood and meetup hood. <laughs> <laughs> 